We're fortunate that we have this opportunity to meditate, to train the mind. We have to remember it depends on the support of a lot of people. So every time we do good, we should think of them. That's what's called dedicating merit and spreading goodwill. But it's also the virtue of gratitude, realizing that without the help of a lot of people we wouldn't be here. And so we should make the best use of this opportunity because we don't know how much longer it's going to last. So how do you repay the people who've supported you to practice? Well, you practice. As the Buddha said, one of the motivations for practicing is that the higher you go in the practice, the better the results for the people who support you in the practice. There's some who say that Theravada is selfish, that we're in it only for ourselves. But the ability to create a good state of mind, a good mind, is going to spread its benefits around. And so look into your mind. What needs to be cleaned out? Always look at it from that perspective, what work still needs to be done, so that you don't get complacent. You don't think, well, I'm good enough as I am. You can compare yourself with other people around you and say, well, I'm better than this person in that area and that person in this area. That doesn't mean anything. We're not here to compete. We're not here to take the lowest common denominator as our standard for measurement. Think of the Buddha and the noble disciples. How do they behave? Take that as your standard. Because what we have here, we owe a lot to them, too. If they hadn't found this way, hadn't taught this way to people over the many, many generations, the opportunity would have died up. Where would it be then? It's not that it would occur to anybody, hey, I can just sit and watch my breath and it can take me very far. It's only when we've heard there are other people who have done that that the idea occurs to us. It's only when people have seen the benefit of having people who practice in a society that they will continue to support that practice. So try not to be complacent. Have lots of gratitude, because that will provide fuel for the practice. And to keep you from getting careless.